How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we are going to be taking a look at the fairly new Moto Edge, Motorola Edge device. Now Motorola came out with these uh, back in May. They came out with the Motorola Edge Plus and the Motorola Edge. So this is considered to be a mid-range flagship uh, phone. Uh, the Motorola Edge is going to be the $1,000 phone. And this one right now, going off of probably Best Buy right now, is $499. So uh, it is on sale uh, for a limited time, but I think it's going to go back up to $799, if I'm not mistaken, uh, sometime soon. So, but right now it is on sale. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing and check out what comes inside. And I'm going to get my first impressions of the Moto Edge. Now, uh, I've never had a Motorola device. Um, they've sort of just been doing uh, little budget phones and some mid-range phones, but never really any flagship type phones. So this is the first time they're doing it. And what really drew, drew me to this phone is that waterfall edge uh, display. It sort of wraps around like 90 degrees around the phone. And this phone actually got my eye and I'm really excited about this phone. Uh, it looks good, specs are good, you know, so we're going to talk about the specs and everything like that. But first, we're going to go ahead and uh, dive down and do an unboxing and I'll show you guys what comes in the box. So don't go anywhere, this is my unboxing first impressions of the new Moto Edge. Alright everybody, this is going to be the unboxing of the new Moto Edge, one of the new uh, phones from Motorola is considered to be a mid-range uh, flagship type phone and I'm really excited about this so let's go ahead and crack it open see what's in the box and I'll give you my first impressions set it up and we'll go over some stuff uh, once we have everything set up so this is the box that it comes in very nice black simple box everything at the bottom this is the six gigabyte 256 um, uh, version so really, really nice storage on here. Excellent storage on here. Uh, a lot of storage, micro SD card expansion. So that's really, really good. Six gigabytes is pretty good as well, even though considering this is running a stock version of Android. So six, six gigabytes should be just fine. This is the solar black version, which is the only one that they have, I think. And I picked this up on Best Buy today. Includes Motorola Edge. Turbo power charger, I think it's an 18 watt charger, USB guides and protective cover and SIM tray. You want to pause that. So let's go ahead and crack her open and see how this phone looks. So like I said, this is my first Motorola phone that I ever gotten. I've never owned a Motorola. Uh, the last time I believe I owned one was uh, back in like 2010. And it was this little flip up keyboard type Motorola. Uh, yeah, I got rid of it because I really really hated it But uh, here's the box. You do get a box up here up top So let's go ahead and take the device out and set this aside And what you get in this box, let's see What you get you do get a little uh, TPU case that is in this box Go ahead and take this out that way you guys can check it out. So it's very, very TPU case. So I'd probably recommend buying it in another case just because I heard that this one is a bit loose on the phone just because it has no uh, grip on the sides. So it has nowhere to attach to the phone. So it might be a little loose. And then over here, you get some paperwork. Your little SIM ejector tool, your little manuals and a Moto Care Protection Guide, which is pretty much telling you everything about the phone. So this is a mid-range type flagship phone. The Moto Edge Plus is their flagship. This one is a next step down, so really not too bad. You get your uh, USB Type-C to USB Type-A charging cable and your charging brick, which I believe it is 18 watts if you guys want to uh, pause that to check it out but get this to focus right there so yeah really really nice Let's see if I'd get this back to focus 
really really nice not much in here some of these did come with headphones but this one does not apparently so that is quite all right let's go ahead and throw everything back into the box and set it aside out of the way so going over some of the uh, specs on here uh, let's see if I can bring this up really quick you get a 6.7 inch uh, AMOLED display it is 1080p by 2340 so really really nice display and it is a waterfall edge display six gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, right off the bat, it is a plastic back, but you wouldn't tell that just by looking at it. I don't know if you could see the colors on here. Really, really nice colors on the back with the little inlay Motorola. So they are not using the back as a fingerprint sensor anymore. You do get an in-display fingerprint sensor. The sides are metal and it does have some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or prickly or anything so that's really really good so the back is like I said plastic but it's really really nice let's go ahead and power it on see if we have any juice on here and yeah we do so over here on this side you're gonna get your power button it is textured that way you could tell the difference between this and your volume they are pretty close together so hopefully that's not a big problem up top you get your sim tray and your micro SD card expansion up to a terabyte I believe and a microphone over here on the left hand side you do have nothing at the bottom you get a headphone jack that is really really nice that they are including a headphone jack usb type c another mic and your stereo speaker bottom firing speaker it does have stereo speakers on there on the back you get your cameras let's go ahead and jump into some of the uh, camera specs so the main camera is going to be a 64 megapixel camera with an aperture f 1.8 and then uh you get your uh 8 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of 2.4 and you get a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera aperture of f 2.2 and then at the very bottom you do get your time of flight 3d sensor so that's really nice you got your flash up here and you do have some branding the 64 megapixel uh underneath it so it's really really cool front facing camera is a 25 megapixel front facing camera with an aperture f 2.0 hdr can record up to 1080p 30 frames per second the back can record up to 4k 30 frames per second 1080p 30 and 60 so that's quite all right 4k 30 would do just fine so stay tuned to my channel i'm gonna do some uh take some pictures and some video on here and then I'll show you guys exactly how the uh, camera performs. So really, really nice specs. Snapdragon 765, I believe. Let's go ahead and see if I could go up to it. Yeah, Snapdragon 765G, six gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage. You got your Adreno 620 CPU, micro SD card expansion. Uh, USB UFS storage 2.1 you do get stereo speakers you do get your headphone jack so that's really nice Bluetooth 5.1 on here so that's also really good so a lot of really good specs for a uh, I guess a mid-range phone but this does not feel like a mid-range phone and plus it can stand up on its own that's something to say right there for you so really good probably use this to do some videos on it you can stand the phone up on its own, so that's really, really nice. Excellent uh, specs on here. I'm really excited about this phone to try it out. Uh, the display, like I said, is, let's see if I could go on to the resolution, 6.7 inches. You got a 95% uh, screen to body ratio, 1080p by 2340, 385 pixels per inch, and it is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and it is a 90 hertz display so you get a 90 hertz refresh display that's really really a plus in my book all of these newer phones that are coming out with 60 hertz they need to get with the program and get with the times it's all about that 90 and above refresh rate that's just my opinion you know you may think differently sports hdr 10 uh, you are running android 10 out of the box 
with the Motorola skin on there, which is pretty much a stock Android feel. So this is a really good looking phone and it feels really nice in the hands. Let me see if I could get some autofocus in on here. So yeah, it's a really, really nice looking phone. And it looks just really, really beautiful. I love this solar black color. It just looks really, really nice. So I'm really excited about this phone. And stay tuned to some of my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And then I'll be right back with you guys to show you some of the settings. And maybe some of the storage that's left over on here. So don't go anywhere. All right, so we got everything set up on here and it is going through its settings set up and everything. So everything is getting set up on here. And let's go ahead and go into some of the uh, settings and check out the storage on here. So it is definitely very stockish Android feeling on here. So that's really, really cool. See if I get this to focus a little bit right there. So really, really nice stock Android feel. So let's go ahead and go into storage. So 15.72 gigabytes is being used out of 256. So 6% of storage is being used on here. So that's really, really good. Uh, you also have micro SD card expansion on here. So that's really, really nice as well. So you do get a lot of storage uh, for your money on here. So really, really nice. Uh, you got your display settings, so let's go ahead and go to that. And you get adaptive brightness on. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, let's see, advanced, you could do a dark theme on here. And you do get like a little notification on that. You get your edge display, which uh, when the edge display is on, apps will display on the curved edges more immersively. Experience some apps may not work properly, so this will have the edge on you can make this to where it'll create a bezel going around to give you um, that more of a bezel look on there but really really nice uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find the refresh rate it is set on auto right out of the box but you go ahead and set that to 90 hertz and you definitely will feel the difference on here so really really nice uh, you get the colors you have natural boosted and saturated so let's go ahead and check these out saturated uh i'm gonna go ahead and go with boosted uh let's see what else you also get a screen saver lock display lock screen display uh let's see really really nice uh, battery is a 4500 milliamp hour battery so really really nice big battery on here and this is running let's see we could go into about phone so software on here, running Android 10 with a June 1st, 2020 security patch on here. So pretty recent software on here. Hopefully you get uh, really good updates. Like I said, I've never had a Motorola device before. You can have the option to display your uh, percentage up here for the battery as well. And the Motorola claims you can get about two days of battery life on here. So we'll see how that works uh, as far as uh, their claim on that. So as far as security wise, you do have an in-display fingerprint sensor. Works pretty good and pretty fast. I've already set that up and you do have facial recognition. So let's go ahead and go into that and set up facial recognition. Tap to undo face. Let's go ahead and switch this. Unlock with a glance, set up, allow, next. So align your face in there. So lift to unlock and bypass lock screen. So let's go ahead and click that, got it. So that was pretty quick. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Lift to unlock and boom. Really, really fast face unlock. Even though we're living in the times right now to where you're wearing a face mask, it's still nice to have face unlock on there. So that's really, really good. So yeah, really, really nice phone. I'm very excited about this. Um, stay tuned to my channel for some um, additional videos on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the camera app. Allow. Okay. You get all these different types of shooting modes right here. Night vision, portrait, cutout, macro, spot color, cinemagraph, panorama, 
ultra res, which this will switch the camera to 64 megapixels, and live filter. You also have video modes, macro, slow motion, and time lapse. So that's really, really nice. Let's go ahead and snap some pictures really quick. See how fast that shutter button is. So really, really nice. So here are some of the photos right here. So photo quality is pretty good by just by taking a little snap of there. So I'm really interested to see how good the video quality is. That way uh, I'll do some videos on it. And here are some of the camera settings. So rear video size, you can go up to 4K, 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and click on that. Slow motion size, you get 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second in HD. Uh, photo size, 25 megapixel, 6 megapixel. So 6 megapixel recommend it, which will do a pixel bending for you. So let's go ahead and this is the selfie camera. So let's go ahead and go into there. So it'll do 6 megapixels, uh, quad pixels, so that's recommended, 4 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, let's see here. Photo size on a rear camera, it's doing 16 megapixels uh, bending from 64. And you also have the option for 12 megapixel 48. So really, really nice. A lot of different options for taking pictures and video or selfie. Uh, you do have watermark, leveler, shutter sound, and you do have some AI settings as well. Auto smile, capture, gesture, selfie and save location. So if you put an SD card on there, you can save location on that. So I'm assuming to switch, take a selfie. So really, really nice right there, nice detail. As you can see, it is softening my skin a little bit. So take out beauty mode, off. So let's try that again. So yeah, beauty mode off is definitely a little bit better. So really, really nice guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my channel uh, for more videos on the Moto Edge. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna be doing some camera comparisons, maybe compare this to the OnePlus 8 as well. Uh, stereo speakers on here, like I said, really, really nice phone. And this display is just really, really awesome. There is one thing I did forget to go over. And this is the Moto settings, what's new in Android 10. You do have a whole bunch of different settings. You can personalize the phone with styles, wallpapers, layout, fingerprint animation. You can do waves, you can do a boomerang, and a chrome dial. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on that. So really, really nice, a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's see about wallpapers. On device wallpapers, you only get one live wallpaper. And then you get all of these other different types of wallpapers on here, which are pretty much from Google. Allow access. And then you have your layout as well. So let's go ahead and go into Moto Actions. Now this is all the stuff everybody knows and love. So if you twist your phone, you can quick capture a photo. And boom, you got that. You can do the chop for, let's see if we could go back. Chop for your flashlight, really, really nice. You got your three finger screenshot. So if you wanna take screenshots, go from the edge of the screen. Oh wait, okay. So really, really nice stuff. Moto actions, go back there. Screenshot tool, uh, pick up to silence the phone, media controllers. So use the volume keys to change tracks when the screen is off. Lift to unlock, lift the phone, and look at the screen to unlock. So really, really nice. A lot of different gestures on there for that Motorola has. You also have edge lighting, which will, if your phone is on the uh, desk, let's go and turn on my flashlight. If your phone is face down on the desk, which I don't know how many people do that, unless you have a case, the edges will light up whenever you get a notification. So that's really, really cool. And you also have Moto Game Time, which I really don't play a lot of games, but you do have this option if you do play a lot of games it is in here for you guys to check that out peak display see interactive notifications and quick information while your screen is off so that's really cool so it's pretty much like an ambient display keep that on edge touch now this is really nice 
Uh, you do have different options over here to where you'll have a little bar over here so you could swipe that in and you do have different options for some shortcuts and things like that and then you can also swipe down for your notifications swipe back up and then swipe up you do get your uh, quick settings right there your recent menu and then you swipe up again you get all your apps so really really nice and if you want to turn off your edge you just double tap and the edge display can't turn off on this app let's go ahead and go back home Edge display cannot be turned off on this app so let's go into messages so now you do have your edges that are gone so that's really really cool let's go ahead and go into settings you really can't tell the difference let's go ahead and go into uh, your display go back go into display and then go into advanced turn off dark theme so then now you'll be able to see the difference so when you tap on the edge you do have that option to give you that edge or tap on it again and it'll create a bezel going all the way around to where it sort of helps with that bezel is personally for me i like having that full on edge display so i'm going to go ahead and keep it like that so really really nice a lot of different types of settings you could have on here for the motorola phone so this is really really cool i'm very excited so with that being said guys hope you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button that way you could guys could uh know whenever i get or do another video uh hit notifications that way you get a notification when i post another video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thumbs down if you didn't stay tuned to my channel for more coverage on the new motorola edge motorola's latest uh mid-range flagship type phone very excited about this phone thank you guys for watching you guys stay safe out there wash your hands wear your masks and do all of that and i will see you guys in the next one peace